Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Daniel Jackson from DanielJJackson.com. You know, I was watching a show, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard it before. It's called uh, The Blue Planet, you know, Seas of the Ocean. Um, and it was just all about ocean life and stuff like that. And as I was watching it, you know, they talked a lot about, you know, animals and the food cycle and stuff like that and how they all get eaten. And so I was watching it and... I was thinking like, you know, one of the things that's the biggest that they even say you can see it from space is plankton. Um, if you don't know what plankton are, it's just little tiny, tiny, tiny microorganisms that some of the biggest animals, like the biggest animal in the world eats. And that's a blue whale. And they eat only that, you know. So what I was thinking when I saw that is like, wow, there's like you never see more whales than you do plankton. You never see more sharks than you do, let's say, tuna that they eat and stuff like that you never see more of them because they feed on them and so what i was thinking i was like wow this this is crazy because if you think about life and us as human beings you'll never see more legends heroes than you do losers or people that don't accomplish anything you know that's what i was thinking i was like wow losers and people that don't accomplish anything and say they're going to do stuff but never do it never act on it and then they wonder why is this happening to me because they're not acting on it they're basically plankton, you know, um, legends and people, heroes and people that everyone looks up to, those are the sharks, those are the whales in the game, those are the people that you constantly are like, wow, you know, a lot of times people contribute shark to a bad thing and stuff like that, but I mean, if you think about it, if you ask a, a five-year-old kid, a little, a little kid, anything, you ask them, hey, what's a plankton? They're going to be like, um, I don't know, because, I mean, even me, I didn't know about what plankton was until I was, like, maybe seven or eight. And then, but you ask them, hey, what's a shark? What's a whale? Oh, right away, oh, yeah, there's this big fish. They have a lot of teeth, you know, or there's this big fish in the ocean and stuff like that. And it's like, even when I was younger, when I first was learning how to read, I knew what a whale and a shark was. You know what I'm saying? And, like, it's basically, what I'm basically trying to give you with this analogy is, you want to be a shark or a whale. You don't want to be a plankton, a loser, someone that always wants to do something but never doing anything. You want to be a shark, a whale, because that's the person everyone knows. That's the person everyone looks up to and stuff like that. Um, there's lots of people out there that a lot of us look up to that everybody knows and stuff like that. But you want to be known for good things. That's what legends are. I mean, if you look at, um, let's say, heroes to the firefighters from 9-11 and stuff everybody remembers them but if you think about all like people that really never done anything and or they did one thing that was just like funny they're not really remembered you know what i mean you want to be a legend you want to be a hero you don't want to be that person that someone is always forgetting about you know they don't remember you you want to be that person that always is in people's heads you know you don't basically what i'm saying with this analogy is don't be a plankton don't be a tuna, be a shark, be a whale. You know, that's a lot more powerful. Um, you will always be remembered. Um, I know I've always, like, I've always loved animals and stuff like that, but, like, I've always liked, like, the bigger animals, like tigers, um, bears, giraffes, and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, I like other little animals, but it seems like those, I always was more attracted to those. You know, I wasn't really attracted to the stuff they eat. You know what I mean? I've never been like, oh man, I can't wait to see an antelope. You know what I mean? When I, If I was going to the zoo, it's like, hey, I want to see a tiger. I don't want to see an antelope. You know what I mean? Like, the tiger exhibit's closed and, oh man, and the ex antelope ex exhibit is open. Okay, I guess I'll look at it. You know, every animal is interesting, but you want to be the, attracted to yourself bigger. You want people to be attracted to you. Okay? So basically, that's what I'm saying with this analogy. You know, take as much as you can from it. Absorb this. Um, but again, be a shark, be a whale in the game. Don't be the plankton, be the tuna. Okay, don't be that. So, alright, well, YouTube, catch you guys later.